Donald Trump's big closing message rally in Madison Square Garden featured speakers mocking a variety of religious and ethnic groups with particular racism directed at Latinos. An interesting strategy given that population's increasing number and voting power. Here's Angeline McCall. On Sunday, a Trump rally with so-called jokes about Puerto Rico being an island of garbage and about Latinos having babies. Jokes that many interpreted as attacks. I do think the Latinos in Colorado care about how we treat each other. Uh, certainly when we feel attacked, certainly Latino voters in Colorado will react. President and CEO of Voces Unidas Action Fund says just within a week to go until the election, the Latino electorate matters and what's said about them. Every 30 seconds in this country, a Latino turns 18 and is now eligible to vote because they were born in this country. That's a big, that's a big powerful uh, statistic. Here in the state of Colorado, Latinos make up about 17% of all eligible voters, according to MSU professor Robert Preuss. Any one particular group uh, that might be swayed either to get out and vote um, or change their preferences a little bit really does matter. In Colorado, roughly 65% are Mexican-Americans. Then folks from Puerto Rico and El Salvador and South America make up most of the rest. You know, there's a concept called linked fate, uh, the sense that uh, there is some uh, effect on uh, your own personal lives uh, w when uh, statements are made you know, broadly against uh, groups that you share a common background. Which means that what politicians say about one group matters to the rest, especially when the largest group of Latino voters remain unaffiliated in the state of Colorado. But one thing is for sure, we're not Florida, we're not Texas. And so we are not seeing the big shifts in ideology year to year. Our data does not support that. Most still lean Democratic, according to Voces Unidas, with their top concerns being cost of living and housing. Instead of attacks, Sanchez says this is an opportunity to address what matters the most to Latinos instead. Latinas and Latinos will be the deciding factor. Professor Preuss says this election really is about margins. So when Puerto Ricans were attacked on Sunday, we know that they make up a small percentage here in Colorado, but in swing states, we know there are about 900,000 of them, and in Pennsylvania alone, 500,000. Couple that with the fact that the most efficient route to the White House specifically for Kamala Harris is to win Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. You can see why that 500,000 could be pivotal if they do take events to what was just said two days ago. Kyle. Interesting and very interesting to hear how Colorado's Latino population might move in some different ways than other states. Really good stuff. Angeline, thank you.